Welcome on back everyone, Ever Air Gaming you another exciting episode with more at Xenoblade Chronicle 3 on the Nintendo Switch and welcome to it. So on last time because um, we are just a strike on forward to run uh, to uh, El Fado Valley which we encounter a brand new characters and to me because uh, we didn't get to run to know these, uh, these two better. I mean oh, actually I'm counting at least three so there are only three characters helping alongside of us. And uh, it seemed like uh, Van Helm is the um, the new guy from uh, from the Zero Blade Chronicle 2, which I, which he sounds exactly like him from uh, from the second game. But uh, he, he it felt like he's um he he, he felt kind of different that way because somehow I just I can't even tell his uh, first name correctly. He have a, a different name to it than Van Helm. But um we so it seemed like uh, Mamba and then the guy named Mio that's his name. So those are the, the two that took sacrifice, and Lance is the only guy that have okay, and he just uh, took center, but now he's revived. So we're gonna focus more attacks on taking down this uh, mysterious enemy, which it looks uh, a lot tougher. So let's go for the F thrust. All right, and we'll go for air slash. Yeah, because it, it seems like this is uh, such a long, long cutscene. I mean, we, we had to keep on finishing up because I knew I was uh, on last a previous episode because uh, I was uh, videoing on this uh, far too long because uh, somehow this is just, just going to be a, a long fight day where we go ahead and take out this uh, mysterious threat. Well, this okay, now uh, it, it seems like uh, we, we did push it too hard. Indeed. Let's uh, try it again. All right, you guys, here we go. So... This is uh, where we go ahead and build up one of our overclock busters just to, just to finish it off. Because this thing, because uh, this creature is a lot powerful, I could imagine. So I just hope we don't die over this. So I want some uh, team support over this. So now I'm going to go ahead and sneak up behind. Okay, and it did saw me. So hold on, let's try this. Okay, you know what, this is not good. So let's go again. All right. Well, let's try not to die this time because uh, somehow it's a scene like we got here. It's this green circle spot which we can go ahead and regenerate HP and the cape we take too much damage. So that that seems like a, a fair chance of way that we can uh, pull our, our, our pull our way together as a team here just to combine our own strength, just so that we can charge out one of our overclock busters to go and build up the uh, talent art to recharge that attack. So we just gotta keep at it. So, so it seems like we, we can go ahead and finish off with the Overclock Buster now. And that is how we go and defeat the monster. Uh, thanks for that. If you're done thanking me, maybe you could get up. We have to beat him together or we're dead in the mud. Get out the way! You're just slowing me down! The nerve on this guy! Start working! Work! If you don't start up soon... Those kids! And the world! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Looks like it wasn't all for nothing. Uh. One down. Good start. Two for one. Uh. It's not over yet!
Digest. Two. What? This hand. Is, Is it, it mine? mine? So it's a dance fight, eh? Okay, so it seems like we have a like, transform into a, a bore. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not, sorry, I'm not so sure if I'm saying it right because uh, we were the uh, aura boros. It's uh, it's how I'm saying it, right? Okay, so we got Phantom Slab, we got Dragon Tail, we got the um, the Unison Strike, or the Unison Strike. I'm not sure how I, I'm saying it correctly, but you know what? Uh, I'll get used to on to the saying it that later right now and we got here there's, there's a last trick up our sleeves called the the mega spinning edge and uh, let's just uh, go over so um the spinning slabs interlink a level free which you can break all and the dragon tail which is had the AOE slash at tat down and the unison's uh, I, I think I'm guessing it's a unison strike so the unison strike has had a high critic rate so it seemed like that that we saw it already because uh, Noah and Mio actually hold on that so she is Mio I don't think Mio was a uh, hold on I think the guy was uh was uh, is screeching for help Mio because Mio is a girl I didn't I didn't realize because somehow I, I was saying Mio was was a was a man I mean how in the heck did I not even like um, watch the cussing clearly my eye did not see the seed correctly. So Noah and Emil did fuse into um, the Ouroboros. Which is quite interesting. Okay, so we go for with uh, one of, of our, what's it called? The, the Mega Spitting Edge. Okay, well that's a pretty cool combat there. Which um, I'm loving the, um, the the fact why it can, it can deal more damage than a little to experience. Okay, so it's the greater good because somehow we, we, we can't take up that much damage. I mean, I don't see that the damage is uh, it's lower, it's de decreasing down a bit. But still, I mean, we can still finish off this uh, Mobius for, for good. It's more like uh, Morbius from the movie or from the, uh, from the Marvel comics.
And now the whole world will be your enemy. I wonder how your lives will turn out. I'll enjoy watching you. Who in the... Who even was that? Was that... was that you guys just now? Mio, what's happening here? What's going on? I don't... <gasps> <gasps> Hold it right there! You guys, put away your weapons. You aren't... you're not enemies. Now. We're not? Then... <clears throat> Skin's all wrinkled. Yeah. <laughs> it's called getting old, this. Old? Well, must be your first time, huh? Seeing a human like me, I mean. <clears throat> well then, looks like my plan was a success. What plan? You six. You're now Uroboros. Check the flame clocks in your irises. Do they look different to you? Uh, huh. <gasps> now you mention it. Our flame clocks have changed shape. You see it? That's the Uroboros ring. Guess I did good. Entrusting this power to you. <sighs> that mark there. Late tenth term, eh? Three months left. Till your homecoming, that about right? Hmm. As for the rest of you, you're probably about two years off, right? <sighs> Me. I've been alive 60 years. Or should I say 60 terms by your counting? Yeah, I've been alive six times longer than you lot. This is how people are really meant to be. Listen, folks, that's not all. There's still something else that needs to be done. <sighs> you guys, you want to survive? Live on? Hold the torch? You kids don't need to be fighting each other. Not anymore. But... That doesn't mean you get to relax. From this moment on, those Mobius bastards are never going to leave you alone. Because now, kids, you share a common destiny. They'll hunt you constantly, relentlessly without rest. Even so, there's one place that might give you a chance. Sword March. The land pierced by a great sword. You gotta find our hope. Our city. It's the only way you're gonna defeat the real enemy. And reclaim what was lost. The way the world and life should be. And listen. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids, and you alone. <sighs> hey, is she? Yeah. An Agni and Offseer.
Bamba. So close to making it. <sighs> Thank you. For doing this with me. Well, this is what we're meant to do. To send on the voices of the departed is an offseer's purpose. To send on the voices of the departed is an offseer's purpose. Right. We're leaving. Noah, Uni. What's up? The mission's over. We've got an obligation. Need to report the sitch. As do we. Time to withdraw. Mio, Senna. Huh? But... But what? Uh, come on, Tyon. Don't be rude. It's hardly the time for pleasantries. We lost a great many of our comrades. We have to inform those still in the colony. And we're any different. If you snuffheads hadn't come charging in. Indeed. Well, why don't we settle this here, right now? Yeah? Bring it. I reckon I could go for some payback. Lance. Yeah? That's enough. What do you mean? There's no point. Seriously? Before, when she and I transformed, I felt her thoughts. Or maybe her memories. There were so many, and then they were a part of me. There were so many different fragments, hard to tell them apart. But even then, I understood. She's... She's lost a lot fighting us. Kevez took away so much. She's experienced a lot of grief. Transformed? You mean... the Biggin? Yeah. I felt it as well. Your grief. It was like mine. Yeah, well... And in one of those memories... Mio. It's something that could be our fault. That's what it's like. In war, I suppose. Mm. So, what is planned from here? Some kind enough to show face. But we'll hide again if this drag on. True, true. Time is wasting itself. You're right. Let's go. A lot's happened, but that seems best. You made the right decision, Lance. Sorry for confusing things. Nah, uh, don't worry about it. Mio, should we leave it at that? Um, yeah. There you have it. I sincerely hope for your safe return. You take care too. Take care not to die in a ditch somewhere, that is. The next time we meet, it will be as enemies. Don't forget that. Ha! Don't worry, I've got a good memory. It's the enemy. The enemy's approaching. Our sworn enemy. Hey, you okay? Huh? I mean, you wouldn't be out of agony until all seer are transforming to that weird thing. Yeah, well, for what is that worth if that didn't seem to do any damage or anything? Hey, you need. Go ahead and take point looking for our hostiles that were you. Until we are making it back to Colony 9. Gotcha. Lance said that's not really next. You're the most depleted out of uh, the lot of us, mate. 
It's a long way to Colony 9. If you want to make it back in, in one piece, you'll need to, to be careful. Watch a fighting on way back up, probably. Yeah, you got a point. So, are we done? Can we have it on? You are now controlling Uni. Okay, so uh, now she has the ability to heal. That's uh, what she she got. Well, we already saw what she's going to do. So, uh, how healers fight? Uh, you you need a take the healer roller in her classes, medic gunner. All right, next one says here: healers play extremely important role as they can restore hit points, HP, revive and incapacitate and capacitated allies, and provide various other means of support. All right. So we can go ahead and close this. So it's the, so she has it one, the one that's called the healing rain. Okay, so that so the, the rain is a, something that had to do to healing the whole party. So it, it says something about the healers are roll actions. So using the artifact that plays the field effects on the, the battlefield will call the talent art icon to the flash of green, and your talent art gauge will charge up a lot. Oh, okay, I can see that action that that uh, supports your ally, such as a. Uh, Applying a buffer, removing the buffer, or raising spawning alleys uh, also account as a roll action, charging your talent or gauge a bit by bit. All right, and it's uh, so the next one says freedom from the clock. So by gaining the power of Ouroboros, the party that were freed from the, uh, the shackles of the flame clock. Okay, so we each to increase a little of our spin points. And it just seemed like to me because uh, we don't have to go ahead and switch any more characters. So now as you guys can see, I'm uh, taking control as a uh, Uni now. So I'm no longer playing as a uh, Noah. But um, I, I wanted to go ahead and uh, play with Len, but um, that's alright. I mean, we'll, we'll get a, another chance by playing with the Len later right now. That the game is allowing me to take control of a uh, Uni. So we'll go ahead and scatter around the area, pick up uh, plenty more materials, and... Also, you know what? Let's just let's do this. So, how about we go to to war map, to area map, and not war map? Okay. Well, I was thinking of more about, about this uh, fire em fire emblem warrior free house or uh, free hopes. Oh, okay, it's not free house. It's not uh, free hopes. Okay. So, you know what? We got uh, something coming somewhere at the other uh, rest spot for a camp. So, uh, you know what? So, we can't skip travel here right now. Okay, so that, that's a shame we can't go and skip travel. So, let's try the Deceptive Trail Cliff Path. Okay, so we can't skip travel that either. So, so it seems to me like uh, we had to move up on foot. Yeah, well, it's a long, long way to uh, getting all the way back to Colony 9. It's going to be a long road. Well, you know, you guys, I do believe we're going to have to just stop and just arrive out here. So next time on Zero Blaze Chronicles 3, we're going to make our arrest up back home at that Colony 9. Where we are going to see, so because um, Colony 9 is uh, not looking too good. So uh, without the spoilers, you guys, we're going to have to uh, find out sooner on the next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere and you will be particular on staying tuned on my next video. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watch this episode. So if you're liking the series and you want to see more of Azealia Blaze Chronicles free, be sure to leave an advertise a like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you have already subscribed to the channel already, please do ring the notification bell so that you can stay up there notified when my new set awesome videos really up in your way. So just making sure you guys are staying tuned in about me. It's all that you want to be in the description or down below. So if you'd like to help support the series, you can do so. We read on step by step. And just to help get you on started on support my channel and front the series. So that's going to be all it for Zero Blaze Chronicle 3. We'll be picking up one in the next one. So take care guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video.